Discover the lighter side of dog chow. Purina dog chow light and healthy. Let's take this up a notch. Let's get a plan and get it right. So we're not doing any of this. Let's go to school. Let's go to save. And then let's go to town. So we can enjoy the view and look for what's next. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Save 20% on any two bags of Scott's fertilizer. Fact. Every time you take Advil liquid gels, you're taking the pain reliever that works faster on tough pain than extra strength Tylenol. And not only faster, stronger too. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Fact. Every time you take Advil, you're taking the medicine doctors recommend most for joint pain. More than the medicine in Aleve or Tylenol. The medicine in Advil is the number one doctor recommendation for joint pain. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 77 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 86. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 75, chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Top of the hour to you, you've made it to Friday. <laughs> that yes. feels good. It, it, it just really does. And we're uh, highlighting Detroit behind us uh, this morning. Absolutely gorgeous shot. It is September 12th, if we get that right. You made it through a rough weather week, so let's get you caught up on your Friday. It's good we mentioned the date, because looking at the pictures of the snow, <laughs> the fall blast, you might think November, it's December, yeah. right? Hashtag fall blast, where the temperatures hit their lowest point today and where they are about to moderate a little bit. Also, people rescued from cars and homes. Flash flooding takes over, and guess what? Another round of rain is on the way. The area is under flash flood warnings right now. Meanwhile, extreme heat for the West Coast this weekend and the impact it could have on several wildfires already burning out of control. And it's electric. From the Leave to the Tesla, AMHQ put six models to the test ahead of National Drive Electric Week. I feel blessed. I feel like I saved a life. Mm. Firefighter in Mississippi pulls a man from his car seconds before it sinks. Nine inches of rain in just hours and more on the way for the south. In some spots, it's cold enough for snow. Seven to eight inches in Buffalo, Wyoming. Wow. Heavy, wet snow bringing down trees and branches. And snow to fire. Red flag warnings and record-breaking heat possible in the west. Of course, it all starts with the weather. And you've got the setup for the weekend because a lot of this is going to continue right into well, Saturday and Sunday. You've got so much shifting mm -hmm. right now. Look at the big board, and we'll take you through the things that are going on there and what is shifting. Look at this area of high pressure where the warmth is back in the west and a very big deal. After the cold push down, there's a slow warm up back up into that area. And if you look at that front, you're thinking storms are around in the southeast and the northeast all weekend long. Well, let's clear it up for you. Let's zoom right into America's heartland because after that big push of air comes a warm up and that warm air sweeps right into Chicago. OK, not today. Let's be fair. Not today. 55 degrees is where you are today. It's been a little cloudy. It's been difficult to get out of it. You get that humid feeling. There's going to be some rain around by afternoon, but by Sunday you get up to 65 degrees and that feels a little bit better. If you take that warm air and start to hop a little bit over into the rain, look at where the rain rushes up. Now here's the good, mood, uh, good news with this. It's a fast mover. So if you look at it in New York today, not your issue. Uh, it'll start to sweep in D.C., Philadelphia first from the south to the north, but Saturday it is your issue and it's more likely you'll be cloudy on Saturday with afternoon 
and rain, but it's gone on Saturday and gets better on Sunday. And well into the northeast, it'll take longer to get that rain to you because it's coming up from the south. In Atlanta, the pattern we've been in through the south, we stay in the south. We'll use you as an example of what everyone from Birmingham to Mobile to Atlanta to Charleston has to deal with. It's those afternoon thunderstorms that will kick up every day, and we've even had some morning versions of that. Mike? Yeah, indeed. We've had some showers this morning in and around the Atlanta metro area. Keep in mind, it's been a very saturated soil almost all summer long, so a lot of these creeks and streams can't take all the rain. We'll talk about that in just a second, but how about the flash flooding we saw yesterday in Memphis just swamping us here in some places, six to seven inches of rain. 25 homes were evacuated, 30 vehicle rescues uh, because of this. A neighborhood's just underwater. Much better for you this morning, that's for sure. But now we take you to the east over into Atlanta, where now you're dealing with some flash flooding. This flash Flash flooded warning for DeKalb, Fulton, and Gwinnett counties. This is for small creeks. So again, our, our creeks are coming bankful now because they just can't hold any more water. It's been so rainy of late. That goes until 2 o'clock. All right, our forecast here back to the west. Little Rock, down toward Texarkana, over toward McAllister, and even back into Oklahoma. We have a lot of rain this morning. Stormy weather for you here, and flooding could be an issue as well. Everything is basically just raining itself out because of this stalled out front that we had. Last 24 hours, we have some very heavy rain including a radar estimate, excuse me, excuse me, a radar estimate around uh, six inches there in the Memphis area. We've got a stalled out front. It basically sits right in here. All you have to do is look at the arrows on there, the red to the yellow. That's where we have the front and the dividing line there. It's warm, moist air that's just putting a target on your back here in the southeast, meaning the forecast through the afternoon, likely through Saturday and maybe even Sunday is very, very wet. Today, we'll time it out for you with our future radar computer model. Things really kicking up this afternoon may wane a little bit late evening and then through the overnight and could refire again through the day tomorrow. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, look where the storms are. South Carolina, North Carolina extending all the way back into Mississippi and Louisiana. A very soggy forecast for us for at least the next 24 to 48 hours. Be prepared for it. Maybe go to the movies this weekend in the south. <laughs> or curl up with a good book. Love that. Mm -hmm. And the fall blast that we've been talking about all week is spreading to the south. Amarillo, Texas hit with a high of 92 this week. Today's high, 55. That's nearly a 40-degree shift. How do you prepare for that, right? Uh, well, a view from above, I just want to show you on the south side of that Cold air. This is from Reed Weissman aboard the ISS. You see the cloud cover of South Florida. That's the disturbance that Mike was talking about. Now to the north, a whole different situation. That tropical moisture churning out some heavy, heavy rainfall, but obviously also helping along with that uh, invasion of that cooler, drier air. Let's talk about the comparison. I love giving you this perspective. Amarillo 53 today, North Pole, Alaska. 69 degrees. So there's something going on here. This big flip flop, a big, big dip in the jet stream on one side of it, and that's leading into Texas, right? So you got those highs into the 50s. Just amazing. 56 in Hereford and Clarendon at 56. But on the flip side of it, well, you can't have a big dip without a big ridge building. Yeah. And right now it's sitting right over Look Alaska and Western Canada. So it is dominating. That means more like spring in Fairbanks. Oh. 69 degrees. North Pole, Alaska, by the way, again, pushing that 70 degree mark. Mm. So it is on the move. Take a look as we get into the weekend. You are going to get some moderation. Amarillo, Oklahoma City into the 50s, you know, 20, 30 degrees below average. By tomorrow, you see a little bit more of the orange return. Now we're into the 70s, more like 10 to 15 degrees below average. And then finally by Sunday, a lot of those darker reds back up into the mid 80s. Dallas, that's a lot closer to average. So some recovery even on the morning lows. And you can see the same for wow. Oklahoma City. Yeah. Nice climb up the stairs there. Back up by Sunday. Okay. Hashtag how in the world does this happen? Uh, investigation underway. This is a teenager who was in prison because he was part of a deadly school or responsible for a deadly school shooting and escapes. He escaped last night, Sam. The good news is TJ Lane and the other two in inmates who escaped with him were all captured within hours after escaping from an Ohio prison. Lane was sentenced to three life terms for a 2012 school shooting near Cleveland. Today, schools in the Chardon District are closed and counselors will be available to students and faculty. New numbers out this morning from the CIA saying there could be as many as 31,000 fighters in the ISIS terror group, and that's up significantly from the 10,000 estimated before. And Yosemite's Half Dome is expected to reopen tomorrow after a wildfire forced the rescue of nearly 100 hikers last weekend. That fire just 23% contained. As you may remember, it ballooned to three times its size since Monday. There are concerns current fires will get worse or new ones sparked as the West Coast faces potentially record-breaking heat this weekend. Sam, we're 
also following a developing story out of the Western Pacific. Two F-18 Hornets crashed. One pilot has been recovered by the U.S. Navy. The other is still missing. We may have video for you in the 9.30 hour. Okay. Thank you, Anna Redis. Well, coming up, still your detailed forecast and your local on the 8th. Yep. So stay plugged in, right? For this week, we're comparing affordable electric cars plus environmental impacts of generating electricity. What happens to all those Where's the batteries? Engine? Where is it? Was it? Yeah, what do you do with the batteries? Right. Are they ever That's properly recycled? Impact, yep. Good questions. Good questions. Lowe's presents how to make your guests think they're at the wrong house. Oh, wow. Told you we're in the wrong house. Go, go. Mom! Mom! Now get up to 25% off all Levelor custom blinds and shades. Individual style begins with confidence and the perfect new look for fall. Right now at Men's Warehouse, buy one, get one free on almost everything in the store. Plus, get an extra 50% off clearance. Confidence suits you. Only at Men's Warehouse. California is known for its grapes, and so is my family. Our grapes ripen on the vine where the flavors fully develop to bring the best quality fruit to your table. That's why we work with Walmart, so you get the freshest grapes available, backed by their 100% money-back guarantee. You change your style, why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. Home improvement improved with the Home Depot Project of the Week. We take you step-by-step -step through great seasonal tips and easy-to-do projects for your home and garden every Saturday morning on Weather Center Live. And for more information and inspiration for your next how-to project, go to weather.com slash Home Depot. Currently in our area, 77 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 86. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 75, chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Here's to the man who truly is the best of us. Who really has the key to the city? With best-in-class payload and best-in-class cargo capacity and an unsurpassed powertrain warranty, you run the town. The all-new Ram ProMaster. Guts. Glory. Ram. Sometimes our co-pilots lead us. They inspire us to try new things, to push our boundaries, and live life to the fullest. At Petco, we like to do the same for our pets. It's why we're so selective about the food we offer, like Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Now 10% off entire stock for a limited time. Because when our companions live well, so do we. Petco, the power of together. Maybe I didn't mention how much I love this show in the commercial breaks. <laughs> It's the most fun place in the world. All right, here we go. Let's get you caught up at 10 after, almost 11 after now. On the warming that goes through the Midwest, you've had a hard time of it. This has been a tough week for a lot of people, but that slam of cold air really hits you hard. Hello, Michigan. Take a look at the sunset. Now, a lot of people are saying, hey, we're okay with temperatures in the 50s. It's a little early for this time of year. Well, up comes a push of milder air. Well, you've got this area of high pressure that's sliding in. A lot of the warmer temperatures are going to be coming right up from the south. And it doesn't happen right now. It doesn't happen today. 
today, but over the next couple of days, you are going to get a shove of warmer air back at you. So 51 degrees today in Chicagoland. Indy comes in at 66 tomorrow. You're 55 in Chicago. Des Moines comes in at 52. Green Bay, 53. And then look as we get into tomorrow and the next couple of days. Uh, those temperatures will still be a little bit below normal. We should do, keep, keep mounting up. The weekend's the important part here. Chicago, St. Louis, Indianapolis. This is what we wanted to show you. Sunday. Take a look at the numbers at that point. We're 70 degrees in St. Louis, 70 in Indy, 65 in Chicago. So we'll crack that 60 degree mark on Saturday for you. And it makes it feel a little bit more like it should this time of year. It's uh, electric cars. We're giving you the preview of next week's big electric car week. Mike is outside with half a dozen electric cars and he's going to walk us through them. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, fun stuff. Good morning to you, Sam. Beginning Monday, it's National Drive Electric Week and there are 140 events planned nationally and internationally. And this morning, we get behind the wheel of two of the more affordable and popular electric vehicles, the Nissan Leaf and the Mitsubishi iMeve. This is the Nissan Leaf. At $22,000 after rebate, it's quick, it's sporty, and it's practical. Also, it's 100% electric. You can get nearly 90 miles on a single charge, and this car, it's super quiet. We barely heard it on our test drive. One unique feature are the chimes that play for you when you power up. And the heated, leather-wrapped steering wheel will keep your hands warm on those chilly mornings. While the Mitsubishi iMeV boasts itself as America's most affordable electric vehicle at just over $15,000 after federal rebate, this one has a lot of personality. This car is also fully electric and goes about 70 miles on a full charge. Automatic climate control air conditioning with a micron pollen filter, electric cabin heater, and heated seats for both front passengers all come standard. And by the way, the Nissan Leaf here with Michael Bainison, the co-captain of the events that will happen in Atlanta. The Nissan Leaf, an incredibly popular vehicle in the state of Georgia. It's a fantastic vehicle. We have over 7,000 vehicles in the state of Georgia. Let's talk about the environmental impacts. A lot of people will say, well, you know, I'm driving an electric vehicle, but, you know, really, I'm, I have no tailpipe emissions, but now I'm using more from a coal-fired power plant. It, it, what's the argument there? What's the benefit? Is there one? It's true. There's, there's a discussion that a lot of coal plants are still producing electricity, but a lot of them are actually switching to American natural gas. And further, there's a lot of nuclear power that will be coming up online. In certain areas of the country, solar and wind is substituting the energy for the electric vehicle. What parts of the country do you think makes, makes sense, you know, pollution-wise for an electric vehicle? California, I know the West Coast is, is one of those places. California is definitely the leader in terms of the green energy, but some of the things that are happening in Georgia are just fantastic as well. You can actually buy green energy right now on your power bill. Let's talk about the batteries. At some point, the battery is, you know, if you're going to keep this car for a long time, the battery is going to have to be disposed of. What about disposal of something like a battery? The current projects that are out there, you can actually use some of the batteries in the vehicle to do uh, storage of energy from solar energy as well. So, for example, if you have a solar power um, on your roof, you can actually store that energy in the spent battery of an electric vehicle. Pretty cool. I bet yeah. you more and more technology comes out to do that, the more and more popular these vehicles become. Michael, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us. Best of luck with the thank event. You. The cars, they're beautiful. And I'll tell you what, guys, I've never seen some sports cars like this that are electric that I want to drive. I want to do it. Hey, coming up, we're going to talk about the Tesla and um, the Fisker Karma. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. The dueler tires on Terrence Knighton's truck are engineered to be Bridgestone's best SUV tires. And now they have an 80,000 mile tread wear warranty. I guess we're going to be here a while. First time on a treadmill? What are you saying? I'm just saying. Right now, buy four select Bridgestone tires, including the Dueler HL Alenza Plus, and you can receive a $70 Bridgestone Visa prepaid card by mail. It's game on with Bridgestone. Brought to you by the new Bridgestone DriveGuard Tire. Continue your journey. This time of year, you just need some fertilizer with weed control and a spreader to distribute it evenly. It's not rocket horticulture. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's not rocket grilling either, right, guys? Getting help at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. CoverGirl wants you to blast your beautiful. Lash Blast. A blast of mega volume in an instant. Clump Crusher. 
200% more volume with zero clocks. And CoverGirl Fusion, a big blast of volume plus length. Big bold mascaras, big bold lashes. No matter how you blast them. Blast mascaras from easy breezy beautiful CoverGirl. Show us how you blast it at covergirl.com slash blast. Lowe's presents how to install a new washing machine with one finger. Maybe a little more that way. Nice. Now get 10% off all major appliances, $3.99 and above. They change the way you see the world and the way the world sees you. At VisionWorks, buy a complete pair of glasses and get a second pair free for you, or you can share them with a friend or family member. Find more than a pair of glasses. Find a better you. For over 10 years, I've been a huge fan of Blue Emu's non-greasy, deep-penetrating cream. My wife and I love it. And for hard-to-reach places, I use Blue Emu Pain Relief Spray. It's odor-free and soothes all my muscle aches and pains. Blue Emu. It works fast and you won't stink. Home improvement improved with the Home Depot Project of the Week. We take you step-by-step -step through great seasonal tips and easy-to-do projects for your home and garden every Saturday morning on Weather Center Live. I'm only in my 60s. I've got a nice long life ahead, big plans. So when I found out Medicare doesn't pay all my medical expenses, I got a Medicare supplement insurance plan. If you're eligible for Medicare, you may know it only covers about 80% of your Part B medical expenses. The rest is up to you. Call now and find out about an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, it could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Call now to request your free decision guide. I've been with my doctor for 12 years. Now I know I'll be able to stick with them. You'll be able to visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. Plus, there are no networks and virtually no referrals needed. See why millions of people have already enrolled in the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP. Don't wait. Call now. We're in your community now. Call 800-750-6929 today. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend, American Supernatural, promoting October 5th on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 77 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 76. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. after the hour and 75 and cloudy with a little bit of tropical moisture. You're looking in South Florida this morning. Uh, looks like this weekend there may be a little rain you've got to get through and that's all because of what is it Mike? It's an invest at this point. Oh, um, phooey Sam. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those weekends you're like man I cannot wait to go down to the beach. It's going to be awesome and next thing you know it's just raining. Uh, that's kind of the deal. Unfortunately we've got this disturbance. It sits right on the coast of Florida. Going to keep us very wet today and likely most of your day tomorrow. So there's a look at the satellite this morning. You can see some storms that have popped up over the Bahamas and South Florida. The low itself is basically right on the coastline right now. It's sitting right in there and the, and the spiraling band around that is counterclockwise. So that's the rotation that you get this morning. What does it mean for us? Well, we've had a soaking in the keys this morning, especially. And then truly South Florida has been the target anticipating several inches of rain here over the next 24 plus hours from Marathon down to Key West storms right on top of us right now. Pretty heavy rain to go along with this. It's not going to be much fun today. This is a look as we track the rain over the next couple 
couple of days. And watch how that spin rolls its way out into the middle of the Gulf of Mexico here and likely going to park itself somewhere about right there by Saturday evening and then may impact places like Texas. You know, it's a little uncertain exactly right now where it has, but I would say Texas, the most likely next target. As much as three to five inches through Sunday here in South Florida, including the upper keys here over toward Naples and Fort Myers, maybe two to three inches coming your way. We're going to look at the mid-levels of the atmosphere and show you the steering and the forecast direction of this thing. You're following it right there, rolling its way westbound and again, potentially coming pretty close to Texas. Where exactly on the Texas coast? Can't tell you that for sure right now, but I would say truly anywhere between Brownsville and Port Arthur, be ready for this. September name storms, we've had plenty of them in the last decade, so this is not unprecedented at all. A lot of them have clustered their way right here through Louisiana and Texas, so it makes sense that we could have one. There's a look at what's happening again in Florida, but it's way out in the Atlantic that we have a named storm. That right there is Tropical Storm Edward. Winds right now are at 40 miles per hour moving west northwest we anticipate it to continue that track in fact the models put it right there today and watch how its forecast track goes west and north it does not appear to be any threat to the united states in fact bermuda is right there a good distance from the u.s and a good distance from bermuda even there's the gfs model in a similar location maybe a little bit different intensity but all in all that looks to be a non-factor for the u.s and just for interest out in those shipping lanes but the big deal probably for the u.s is going to end up being florida we'll talk about what impacts we could have in the southwest coming up in your tropical update from the pacific that's straight ahead at 50 after. All right, Mike, thank you. It is 22 minutes after now. Say it isn't snow. Parts of the U.S. already starting to see winter weather. Time-lapse video of snow in South Dakota. want to show you about an inch falling in Rapid City and oh. some neighboring cities reporting between four and six inches. And in case you were wondering, yes, this is the earliest recorded measurable snowfall since 1888. That is a long time for records. And check this winter. out. I love this, right? <laughs> They're pulling out the ruler for this one. The National Weather Service in Boulder tweeting out this picture. A tenth of an inch recorded outside their office Friday morning or I should say or yeah earlier this morning Denver Airport reporting just a trace of snow which officially means they haven't had their earliest snowfall because it's not technically measurable and bless you sir for putting the ruler down and getting down there to see that's that that right. was a healthy tenth of an inch <laughs> that's right it is measurable darn it and I love this picture from Mount Rushmore in South Dakota uh, because of the wetness of the snow it looks yeah. like the presidents are crying that it's too soon it's yeah. too soon for snow I'd be crying too if I was standing out in it oh, we were talking about those records right uh, record snowfall, 1.6 inches, the earliest measurable snow on record previously, September 13th, 1970 in Rapid City. Here's a look at Denver. Still some light areas of snowfall, but if you're heading out on, say, I-70, uh, down 25, you're in pretty good shape this morning. A lot of that wet weather off to your south end. East, that fall blast, though, hitting Denver briefly, and then you're back up into the 80s by Sunday. And it's so funny. We're, we're so shocked.